buy a house. Yeah? What would be the most important question to ask? It would be why. Why should I draw a house? What is the use of drawing a house? Does it really make sense? Because this is what creates discernment. And in everything that we want children to do, there has to be also an understanding included. And bringing children to asking questions means that we help them to really use the brain, to use discernment in a world where we get lots of information. Some of the information is right, some of the information might mislead us in a wrong direction. So how do we help children to actually really live in this kind of world without making them asking the questions and stopping us asking the questions? So that's the challenge we have to face. The next point is that, of course, in the growing up process, we can see in the children certain kind of behaviors, which are maybe not benefiting the social community, but which we want to build in India or in any other country. So like, is it okay for a child to just drop the waste and have someone else pick it up? Or is it a teacher's responsibility to say something? Yes, of course it is. So it's not just about having them do what it is, it's about leading them and helping them in a very different way of saying, okay, you know, we decided on living like this in that country, I'll give you this information, how would you like to contribute to live like this? Yeah, so each country has their specifications. So what we have a lot in TLI pedagogics is called the philosopher approach. So we have a lot of philosophic discussions with the students about how and what and why. Why should we actually clean up India? Yeah? Why should we actually think about maybe taking on a project, a charity project, as a school who can afford it, all of that. Including participation of the students in each and everything. Students are not stupid. Yeah? So as soon as the cognitive ability is there to ask questions like why, what and how, according to the age we can include them in decision making. So why do we make the rules of the classroom? Why? Why don't we include the children? Why don't we have children participation and ask them? We are living in democratic countries, so let them be a part, have elections, all kinds of things. That's a natural process of helping them to grow up. This is what we would like to really inspire all teachers all over the world to think about and integrate it according to what is possible in your area.